Hey everybody, today we're testing out this multifunction shovel by DAZN and it comes in this carrying case and this fabric is pretty thick and durable so uh, let's open it up and see what we have uh, the shovel is not on this side so I'll flip it over it is on this side here we have the shovel itself and various parts to extend the handle. There's a flashlight that is also part of the handle. And then on this side we have a carrying strap and this is a saw. Let's see so you can see it. And a USB cable. Yes, the shovel uses a USB cable. So, uh, oh, here's a few more things. Fire starter. And this part goes on the end of the flashlight. And that's everything that's in this case. And there's extra room in the case for other things and not just the, the uh, various parts of the shovel. So, Let's take a look at these things one at a time and then we're going to go outside into the woods and try the few of the main things out. So uh, let's get to it. Well, first of all, let's open up the shovel. And right away, it locks into place when you try to open it. And uh, let me uh, open it up the rest of the way. Hold on. like that and let me zoom in on the shovel I haven't locked it in place yet so I'll do that okay now it's nice and firm and we have this part complete but let me zoom in here on the shovel you can see there's a design on there these are dragons and here's the, the zone logo right here you can see that kind of reflecting off the light here. And on this side, right here, there we go, there's a ruler. I guess that's centimeters. And the blade itself is uh, made out of steel and it has this edge here for cutting. And that's pretty sharp. I mean, this thing's not lightweight. It's heavy duty. And on this side is an axe blade, which isn't very sharp, but I can sharpen that later. So uh, let's look at the other components of this. Oh, just one thing I forgot to mention right here. This is a wire cutter. And when you open up the shovel, you can cut wire with it. And I'll just lock that back in place. Okay, the next section of our handle is a tactical knife, and it comes protected with this right here. And let's get, take a close look at this. I'll zoom in. And uh, this is razor sharp, this side. It has a bottle opener right here. And this side is serrated. You can use it as something to cut little branches with. And this section goes right into this part of the shovel, makes the handle even longer. So let's look at the next part. Okay, this next part of the shovel is sort of an end cap with a carrying cord, and what it has, you can screw this part, and it's a fire starter, and it's also a whistle, and I'll blow it here real quick. In case you're lost in the woods, somebody will find you. So I'll put that back together and I'll show you how to use the fire starter out in the woods. And you can either put this on the end of the shovel and make it a smaller handle shovel, or you can add the flashlight section, which we're going to do next. The next section of the handle is this flashlight, 
And one thing about this is it has this very strong magnet at the end here. And I'll just stick it to the shovel. And that is very strong. Maybe you can stick it to the front of your canoe to see where you're going. But there we go, and let's open this up. And here we have the battery. But in order to use the flashlight, let me zoom in here. This is an 18650 battery, and we need to remove this plastic strip that keeps it from uh, being used during shipping. There we go. And now the flashlight can be charged through the USB at the end here with our USB cable. So uh, let me get that charging, and then um, we'll check out the flashlight itself. Flashlight is fully charged, so I'll show you the different modes. Here is the on and off button right here. Just hold it in. And this first mode is the dimmest mode. Then we have the next mode, which is brighter. Actually, the brightest. Then the next mode is a strobe. And next mode is SOS. And I'll turn this off a second. And this goes on top, screws in. that and it lights up just like that and now this is our final piece of the shovel let me zoom out here and that is our complete shovel This part here comes in the case. It doesn't go on the shovel, but it does come in the carrying case. And what this is, is a chainsaw where you put it around the log, you give it that motion around the log, and it'll cut right through the log. And I must say, this feels very durable, and it, it's really sharp. So I can't wait to go use this outside, which we'll see in a few minutes. I thought this spot would do good beyond this mushroom and dig a little hole and display what this can do. Okay, we're gonna dig a hole here real quick and just up the shovel. Wow, that's really good ground. Goes right in. Okay, so I got my hole and I'm just gonna take my knife here and strike the back of this magnesium. There we go! <laughs> Finally! Okay, I'm going to test out the chainsaw. And this tree is about 20 feet high. I guess you got to start it straight. And get a nice groove going. There we go. Yeah, it's carving in. There we go. Now rhythm. Wow, that cuts right through pretty fast. Timber. Here we go. 
it works. Well, I show you a few things that a shovel could do is simply dig a hole for a fire pit or even use it as a hoe. Um, or just use it to start a fire with a knife. But anyway, I give it five stars. This thing can do a lot with flashlight and everything you need to go out into the woods and have a good time or just survive. So uh, that's all I have for this. So take care everybody.